Tangent. Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here, and welcome to a Clash of Clans episode, and today guys, we're gonna go through some attacks after the update, the clan games update, and I know guys, I have been away from Clash of Clans for probably a week and a bit now, uh, there's a few reasons for that, I do want to explain, and probably the name of the title as well will answer that as well, so, today, whoop, we've got to reload the game, but today we're going to go through this latest clan war. There is a super potion attack uh, that came from the clan games uh, rewards. And it's pretty cool, the super potion. Like this super potion, I've got one. Use power potion to boost your troops to the maximum level allowed by your laboratory for one hour. Maxed out troops at town all nine. That's crazy. Okay, so there will be that attack now. So. Uh, we'll go through what my clan has been up to. We have we had 11 win win streak right here We had some we had a green streak going on a couple of losses there uh, But now we're back on track with the green we lost against diamond dogs And now we're gonna go through this uh, clan war with kale guapo. There is some awesome attacks here I did write down a list of the awesome attacks so I can just you know refer to them but um, I will explain while there's a tax going on. Let's go to 11 where BMD com comes online and just smashes his base. Make sure you smack that like button. really helps support the channel. So my question to you guys. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays. Um, my question to you guys. Should I continue Clash of Clans in 2018? Um, I've been thinking a lot about it over my few days off that I had uh, that I took for myself in on Christmas Day, Boxing Day and the day after and so I had pretty much three days off so my question to you guys should I continue Clash of Clans on my channel? Um, if you're a Clash Royale, if you don't play Clash of Clans you probably shouldn't vote because if you play both then that's fine but Clash Royale uh, I play a lot, I, I, I love streaming Clash Royale because you know you can go into a match really quickly don't have to wait, wait for troops and Brawl Stars uh, I, I just like to play because I like those kind of games as well Clash of Clans I like to do my farming runs check out the wars uh, go to the build base do my attacks there and um, I do like the clan games I did do the uh, the first clan games and then um, it was at 500 then the cap went up higher than that um, because the community Asked for a higher clan games uh, score uh, that they can reach. So the thing is, I've been complaining. Should I not do Clash Clans anymore? Um, just because YouTube does not like diversification on your channel. So that's why Clash with Cam um, can only do Clash Royale on his channel. Not and, and he had to change his main content with his brother to a different channel because it does affect if you diversify your channel um, when your your when your um, subscribers have known you for one thing and then this and if you do something different they're kind of like oh I don't know if I like this channel anymore um, don't watch it anymore and then that affects the whole entire channel because YouTube thinks oh they uh, you know they don't like watching this channel anymore because um, because they don't know that they changed the content. They just know that the views went down. So um, I love all the three games. I really do. Uh, but I know for a fact that uh, you, for a healthy channel, you need at least 80% of one main game, 20% of others. So whether that's Clash Royale, Brawl Stars is, you know, Clash Clans is getting 60 years old. Um, I'm a bit, there's two things I'm disappointed about, I'll tell you that in a second, that that's why I was considering maybe 2018, maybe where I, where I stop it, um, but yeah, so Clash Royale, you know, fairly new still, uh, the updates seem to get good feedback these days compared to before, um, Brawl Stars may come globally next year, and new, new and exciting fresh game. Um, I was in the first live tournament in Helsinki, and I do enjoy that game as well. So it's going to be, if I do three games on my channel, it could kill me. It could kill the channel. I'm not a Nick at Night. Um, 
yeah, so I'm not sure, guys. I'm leaving the, the answer to you guys in the comments below. Don't dislike the video um, if you don't like uh, this or Clash Clans at all. Just give me constructive criticism down below on what I should do. Um, I love all three games. Clash Clans is what I built my channel on, and it'll always be the OG content on my channel. Um, so next year, I want to go hard and strong, grow a lot bigger. Um, that was an awesome super po uh, was it the super potion attack there? Uh, seeing all those max troops at Town Hall 9, that, how crazy is that? Okay, so, well, while I keep continuing with the discussion, there was two things, there's two things that why I kind of had a hiatus with the Clash Clans. I haven't posted a Clash Clans video for one and a half weeks. Um, just because, first of all, uh, Clash Royale update was out, there was new troops and that, uh, new cards and that, and uh, it was pretty exciting to cover all those new things. Um, especially the new legendary, the Royal Ghost, I had extreme fun with that. Um, really cool concept character for the, uh, well, really Really cool character that has a cool concept um, of, uh, you know, game mechanics. So secondly is I was disappointed in the balance update. Uh, I was disappointed with Clash of Clans Inferno Tower uh, nerf, negating the, cancelling the neg negating um, effect of Inferno Towers um, with the healing of the heal potions and the healing of the healers on other troops so you could pretty much you know use hog riders a lot now uh, max hog riders heal um, and take down inferno towers easily um, so I was a little bit disappointed in that because I know a lot of the pro players like a challenge it's really exciting seeing a town hall 9 3 star a town hall 10 somehow um, because of that more, you know, difficult obstacle, which is the Inferno Tower. And, uh, I know what Clash Clan is doing. They're trying to get the Town Hall 9s to upgrade to Town Hall 10 because there's a lot of Town Hall 9s just maxed out Town Hall 9s don't want to go up to Town Hall 10 just because there is, um, a little bit of difficulty more than being a, just a Town Hall 9. And there's a lot of people that's been a Town Hall 10 just like myself struggle in Tunnel 10 versus Tunnel 10 uh, to get three stars. Um, I, I'm basically a two star expert in Tunnel 10, but uh, I do get occasionally get the three stars. But, um, you know, I still like the challenge of that. I still like the challenge of that. And that's gone. That That's going to be gone now. Um, but a lot of pro players will be unhappy about it. A lot of casual players um, will probably be happy about it just because you know they can three star up more now so I'm really a bit disappointed I, I really thought the tournaments was going to come out in December I thought that would have been a huge update for Clash Clans but it didn't hopefully it comes next year so my my proposition to you guys is maybe I should start off with uh, still having Clash of Clans on my channel next year do my redo my tutorials because uh, from my Tunnel 9 strategies, Tunnel 10, maybe I'll do some Tunnel 8s if there's still any Tunnel 8s around. And redo those strategies because there's no Inferno Tower uh, that takes away the healing effect anymore. And strategies will change, or the old strategy will just be tweaked with different spells and all that, or different troop compositions. I think that could be a good plan. What? Let me know what you think in the um, comments below. By, by the time I do all my tutorials, um, maybe, uh, Clash of Clans will have an exciting new update and I might not have to do it. I might not have to take it off my channel. Um, I still want to cover Clash Royale, but the thing is, if Brawl Stars comes out globally, I kind of want to cover it, because it's exciting new game, they've totally done the UI, um, I'm not sure having three games on my channel will be healthy, so... We've got a big decision to make in 2018. There is one exciting, um, actual exciting news that I want to tell you guys. Is that my Epic Clash Battle series. There's one episode on the channel. You probably haven't seen it because YouTube didn't push it out. There's, a, there's around 30,000 views. Uh, but check out, we'll search on YouTube. Bandit vs. Musketeer. 
Wicked Gaming. It'll be the first one that pops up. The next episode is going to be Clash of Clans Valkyrie versus Clash Royale Knight. Let me know in the comments below who will win in a live action fight between those two characters. I chose the Clash of Clans Valkyrie because of the different... Uh, I just want to give you a spoiler, level 7 look um, in, in the game compared to the Valkyrie in um, Clash Royale. And I also wanted to use the Knight because... I wanted a hand-to-hand hand -to -hand combat type scenario instead of the Musketeer and Bandit where the, the band uh, the Musketeer is a long-range character and the Bandit's a close quarter character. So, wanted a little bit different aspect, wanted to include both games that I play and it'll be exciting. I may even incorporate Brawl Stars versus a Clash character, you know? That'll be a future episode. So, go check that out. Uh, that's that's commenced. Uh, that's going to be commenced filming in five days. I'm really stressed about that because a lot to do, um, and I'm re yeah really stressed about that. But it'll be good. Um, it'll be released end the last day of January. So get excited for that. Um, let's do the last attack. All the serious talk is gone. Sorry about that. It is late at night as well. Wanted to pump out a video for you guys to explain what's going on. Um, what are my thoughts about Clash of Clans on the channel? Okay, so this is a cool attack. We've got Kaylee and Nicole here. Uh, this is an awesome 3 star against the Town Hall 11. And obviously, using a bit of everything. Got, he's got baby dragons, minions, Valkyries. I, I assume that he's got a lot of bowlers in his clan castle. And uh, a whole bunch of troops. He's even got goblins there. This is the most variety attack looking attack ever. Looks like it's mostly focusing mainly on the AQ walk to get that Eagle Artillery. As you can see, Eagle Artillery not even activated at all yet. But here we go. Had to use the Rage Spell right there. The Royal Cloak still intact. Few Larrys are coming over to distract her. But now she's focused on the Eagle Artillery. So Eagle Artillery is down. We've got one heal spell, three Rages. We've also got a Jump Spell. I imagine that Jump Spell is to get to that Inferno Towers in the inner layer. Uh, towards the core. And we've got the funnel over here around the inner layer. The CC troops will also get pulled. And the Archer Queen will focus on that dragon. And here we go. The Valkyries are going to utilize this jump spell here. Clean out those Inferno Towers that are multi in the corner. As you can see, the heal spell goes down. Valkyries survive pretty easily. And <laughs> two of them get flunged up on the spring trap. So, now we've got... The heroes going that side, we've got maxed out um, health on both the Grand Warden and the Valkyrie who also still has the ability. And this is dominating attack, that heal spell did make a difference. Getting those Valkyries to wipe out the core without the Inferno Towers even touching them in the end. And um, th that Inferno Tower nerf really does affect the game. I got a, I got a small feeling. Town Hall 9s are going to upgrade to Town Hall 10s, um, and that's what Clash of Clans wants. And then they may put back the negate the healing effect on the Inferno Towers once there's enough Town Hall 9s to Town Hall 10s. Just, just my prophecy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Sorry it was a little bit of a down, I just wanted to explain the situation and give a heart to heart talk to you guys. Let's make a decision together in the comments below. And yeah, make sure you smack that like button, really helps the channel. And stay wicked.